All right, you are welcome again. Let's take a look at this question. We are asked to form a differential equation corresponding to this. We have y is equal to a exponential 2x plus b exponential minus 5x. Okay, now first of all, we form the differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constant. And how many arbitrary constant involves determines how many times you differentiate. Carefully looking at this function, we have two arbitrary constants, a and b. So therefore, we are going to differentiate this function twice. Then manipulate and eliminate the arbitrary constant. Okay, now let's call this equation 1. Let's differentiate the first time with respect to x. So differentiating with respect to x, we are going to have dy dx is equal to 2a exponential 2x minus 5b exponential minus 5x. Hope you understand how to differentiate this, right? Good. Now let's call this equation 2. Let's go again and differentiate for the second time. Differentiating for the second time, we are going to have d squared y all over dx squared is equal to for 2a exponential 2x, we are going to have 4a exponential 2x plus 25b exponential minus 5x. Let's call this equation 3. Okay? Now, let's go. Let's carefully look at these three equations we are having to see what we can possibly do in order to eliminate the arbitrary constants okay so in this place now what if we say equation 2 minus 2 times of equation 1 equation 2 minus 2 times of equation 1 that is 2 multiplied by equation 1 we subtract it from equation 2 what are we going to have so here in equation 2 we have the y all over the x is equal to 2a exponential 2x minus 5b exponential minus 5x okay so 2 of it that means in equation y it is going to give us 2y right so that means we are going to have dy dx minus 2y is equal to now when you multiply a exponential 2x by 2 is going to give us 2a exponential 2x subtract it from 2a exponential 2x in equation 2 is going to give us what zero right good and then we say for the next term minus 5b exponential minus 5x minus 2 times of b e exponential minus 5x or b exponential minus 5x sure you get it, right now let's go here we're going to have minus 5 b e raised to the power minus 5 x minus 2 b e raised to the power minus 5 x so in this place we're going to have minus 5 minus 2 which is equal to what minus 7 so here we have dy dx minus 2y is equal to minus 7 b exponential minus 5 x let's call this equation 4 okay now let's go again what if we say again equation 3 minus 2 times equation 2 equation 3 minus 2 times of equation 2 what do we have repeating the same procedure again we're going to have d squared y all over dx squared which is equation 3 minus 2 of equation 2 that means you have minus 2 dy dx is equal to we will multiply 2a exponential 2x by 2 is going to give us 4 so this 4 now subtracted from 4a exponential 2x in equation 3 is going to give us 0 right good now going to the next one we have 25b exponential minus 5x 
minus two times of minus five b e exponential five x. So this minus five times two, what will it give you? It's going to give you ten of it. Okay. So here we have minus minus is going to give us plus. So we have twenty five b e minus raised to the power minus five x. Minus minus will give us plus, right? They will say plus 10 B E raised to the power minus 5x. So 25 plus 10 is going to give us what? 35. So here we have 35 B E raised to the power minus 5x. Okay, so we call this equation 5. So equation 5 is telling us the squared y all over ds squared minus 2 the y dx is equal to 35b exponential minus 5x okay good now let's go again in this equation 5 i think we can split it into two to accommodate equation 4 yes we can split it into two to accommodate equation 4 what do i mean look at this is the same as say the squared y all over ds squared minus 2 dy dx equal to minus 5 open bracket minus 7 b e raised to the power minus 5 x so when you say minus 5 multiplied by minus 7 is going to give us what positive 35 so this is the same so you see that the content in the bracket which is minus 7 b e raised to the power minus 5 is actually what we have in equation 4 so that means we can bring the whole of equation 4 into what equation 6 that we have now okay so doing so that is to say in place of minus 7 b e raised to the power minus 5 we can replace it with the y dx minus 2y okay so substituting equation 4 into equation 6 we are going to have d squared y all over d s squared minus 2 the y dx equal to minus 5 open bracket the y dx minus 2y okay now let's use this minus 5 to open the bracket doing so we are going to have the squared y all over d s squared minus 2 dy dx is equal to minus 5 dy dx plus 10 y Let's take everything to one side. We are going to have d squared y all over d x squared minus 2 dy dx plus 5 dy dx minus 10 y equal to 0. Adding minus 2 plus 5 is going to give us plus 3. So therefore, we are going to have d squared y all over d x squared plus 3 dy dx minus 10 y is equal to 0. So therefore, this is the differential equation corresponding to the function y is equal to a exponential 2x plus b exponential minus 3x. Alright, yes. Thank you very much for watching. My name remains Authority Johnson. Please like, share our videos. Stay blessed. Thank you.